So in this video, I am exploring resolution time report. It shows the length of time taken to resolve a set of issues for a project filter because the project filter will be our uh, uh, filter to generate this report. It helps us in identifying the trend and incidents that you can investigate uh, to in order to ensure that things get resolved faster. Yeah, so why, why we are taking long time to resolve a particular issue, we can find out the area of interest by looking at this report and we can do some investigation. So let's see. So in general, you apply the report filter, maybe a specific filter or a project filter. You, you select the scale, you select the time duration, you want to see it for 30 days or 90 days, and then you go forward with it. So here, it's a... a average resolution time report yeah and as i don't like averages that much but still it's an average report and i will talk about my reservation here so at a uh, x axis since we selected days we have dates and on y axis we have average days so average resolution time which was observed on that particular uh, day so in a simple word if i say that this is a, a day we are interested in say 29th august so 33 days to resolve was the average yeah, in this particular case. But the only information which makes it a little bit sensible is the five issues got resolved on that particular day. So in general, if that information is available directly here, then it can solve my problem. So I know that how many issues were there. And so if there is a, some indication, then the average becomes a little useful. But in general, I'm seeing that my average resolution time is decreasing. So for here, in general, the trend is good because this bar length is going down. Yeah, that is happening. So how they create, uh, uh, create this particular uh, graph? Just select the number of issues got resolved on a particular day. So that will be the first information. Then sum total the time they took to got it resolved and then divide by that. So if I have a five issues, I check the, uh, the resolution time for each uh, issue and divide by five and that will be my average resolution time. And since it's an average, it could be a little misguiding because I may have a long pending issues which might spoil my whole average. That's a one possibility. Another is on a given day, we only resolve two issues and one issue was long pending, uh, then also my average will go high. And in a, another day, we may resolve multiple issues uh, 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 and that can bring the average down, even though the long pending issues was part of it because uh, the average is, is still an uh, average. So you should be a little careful while using this, just not get carried away with the length of the graph. Uh, do see the number of issues which were reported on that, which were resolved in that particular day so that you can make some sensible average. Now for a, a sample data, we can say that on a 6th August, uh, we had one issue which got resolved on the same day. Uh, we can say that we have another place uh, uh, where on a 15th August, we resolved one particular issue. It took 133 days. If I go into the details, yeah, I can find out the start date and end date of it. And I can find the difference between it using Excel or anything. And that can help us in identifying how it is getting calculated. It's a simple calculation on a created versus resolved. So uh, if you put those information in the Excel file and try to find the difference, the date, the days which is shown in this particular graph will exactly match with it. I'm not sure how well you can use it, but if you want to use it, I would uh, recommend that uh, give your viewer some presentation of the number of issues you are you are uh, using for calculating these averages so that uh, uh, if, if you are presenting it to the management, then it becomes little sensible information. It can just give you a high level trend uh, detail. You need to still figure it out by double clicking these issues. Yeah. So this was the resolution time report.